Burton, cartographer, 144. Hey everyone, I'm Ariel, snowboard expert at Curated.com, and I've helped over hundreds of people find the perfect year for their next adventure. And today I got to ride the Burton Cartographer in a 144 at the beautiful Powder Mountain Resort in Utah. Just so you all know, I am not sponsored by any brands and all of my opinions are completely 100% mine and unbiased. Burton claims this snowboard as a playful option to play in powder, but still have enough in the tank to rip when you are looking to tackle the rest of the mountain. My first impression of the Burton Cartographer, like I feel like it's a great board that's designed to kind of like cruise through trees, um, feel out steeps and dabble in conditions with something that's a little bit softer, but still holds up very well at speed. It was very smooth from edge to edge. And honestly, I could pick it out as a great free riding tree option. If you need help finding the right snowboard for you, please feel free to click the link in the description and I'd be more than happy to help you find the right snowboard. My overall impression of this board is that I was super stoked to get on it. It recently got released in some smaller sizes. Um, I am definitely a tiny human. So being able to ride this board in a 140 44 today was really, really exciting. This board is kind of a do it all board, but it's got the power behind the directional camber in it, but it is a very playful flex. I like the size and shape of this snowboard. It runs a little bit smaller. There is a wide stable platform on this thing. So I feel like it makes it so you don't even realize that the nose has early rise in it. And it creates really stable landings when playing around on side hits um, or jumping around in the woods. I think this board thrives in powder, some groomers, in some trees, kind of all over the mountain. It wouldn't necessarily be my go-to park board. This is a great option to be social, have fun, and kind of uh, make some slash turns in the pal with friends and not have to ride at top speeds all the time. But this board is still very much capable of those things. I think this is a great snowboard option for someone that wants a snowboard that is ready for that pow day, um, whether it's a couple inches or the dump we've all been looking for. I would recommend this board to someone that's kind of like me. They do like a full cambered board. They like to feel some power underneath them but they also like to just get playful and they want to press and they want to butter and really just not be on a super stiff board. Snowboards work differently for different people. Feel free to click the link in the description and we would be more than happy to help you out at Curated. And if you like this video, click subscribe to watch more content from Curated.